ഹലോ ദിസ് ഇസ് പാസ് ജോജി വിത്ത് പോയിന്റ് ടു ട്വന്റി ടി ഡോട്ട് കോം ആൻഡ് വെൽക്കം ബാക്ക് ടു അനദർ സ്ട്രാറ്റജിക് ട്രെൻഡ്സ് അപ്ഡേറ്റ് സോ ഇത് എസ് പാസ്റ്റ് വീക്ക് ഓൺ ഓഗസ്റ്റ് ഫിഫ്ത് എബ്രഹാം റെയ്സി വാസ് ഇനോഗ്രേറ്റഡ് ആസ് ഇറാൻസ് പ്രസിഡന്റ് ആൻഡ് ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ഹിസ് ഇനോഗ്രേഷൻ ഹിസ് ട്രസ്റ്റ് ദ റെസിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഓഫ് ഇറാൻ എഗെൻസ്റ്റ് യു എസ് യൂറോപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ഇസ്രയേൽ ഹി ഈസ് സ്ട്രോങ്ലി എക്സ്പ്രസ്ഡ് that Iran will be taking the hardline stand against the west now raisi was the hand picked choice of iran's supreme leader ayatollah khamenei so this hardline stance that he is showing is the stance of the regime interestingly enough raisi has chosen his vice president mohammad mokber who is also close to khamenei Now he was the head of the conglomerate which has connections with every sector of the Iranian economy. And interestingly enough, both Raisi as well as Mokber are sanctioned by the US administration for their involvement in many things that the US considers not right. And on Raisi's first day at the office, he met leaders from Hamas, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, popular front for the liberation of palestine and the second in command for hezbollah what they discussed was the resistance against israel and ways to deal with israel in that region meanwhile israel as well as nine european union parliament members criticized the move of eu sending the eeas deputy secretary general enrique mora to attend the swearing in ceremony of the Iranian president all of this comes in the wake of the Iranian drone attack on the israeli operated ship last week killing two people i had mentioned this in my previous update and also hezbollah firing 19 rockets at israel on july 6 see the iranian regime is trying to capitalize on all these attacks using its proxies and increase its attack on Israel Iran attacking Israeli ships at sea and its proxy Hezbollah attacking Israel at Israel's north and at Israel's south Iran's proxy Hamas targeting Israel keep in mind the new leadership in Israel and also the new leadership in US which is considered as weak so actually iran is asserting all the more aggressively in that region now the threat of hezbollah in south lebanon equipped with around 150000 rockets pointed at israel see on july 6 hezbollah launched 19 rockets at israel 10 were intercepted by the israeli iron dome missile defense system six fell in open areas and three did not reach israel this was in response to an israeli air strike and artillery shell firing against rocket attacks which came from south lebanon on july 5th now that was not from hezbollah israel itself said that this was from palestinian terror groups operating from south lebanon now since israel conducted a strike on the south lebanon area controlled by hezbollah Hezbollah had to respond in some way due to this attack from Israel and therefore it launched those 19 rockets such a rocket attack has not come since 2006 the Israel Lebanon war now currently Israel has warned Lebanon saying that it will respond with quote and quote covert and overt measures Israel already responded by firing artillery shells into south Lebanon Now the leader of Hezbollah Hassan Nasrallah came out of hiding and he said in his speech giving the impression that Hezbollah is just as much strong as the Israeli defense forces. Meanwhile, when all this firing of Hezbollah is coming from South Lebanon, how is the people of Lebanon taking this? See the Druze villages in Lebanon apprehended Hezbollah. This video had come recently. those villages those druze villages in lebanon apprehended those hezbollah activists trying to fire rockets into israel in these villages were saying 
Hezbollah is firing rockets from between homes so that Israel hits us back. They actually captured those four activists trying to launch rockets from their region and they handed them over to the Lebanese army. The Lebanese army arrested them uh, but they were later released. So so much the people of Lebanon are fed up with Hezbollah. Also the Lebanese Maronite patriarch Bekhara Boutros Al Rai was calling for the Lebanese army to deal with Hezbollah in the south and bring an end to the conflict which the group was causing. See the Hezbollah is operating like a nation within a nation. But in the midst of this the Lebanese government is unable to do anything. See it's politically weak. It is economically weak. The situation is similar to that of a civil war. Rations distributed to people, fuel shortage, power shortage, unrest everywhere, very high unemployment. And in the midst of this, the government is unable to control Hezbollah. Also to a good extent, the Hezbollah army is stronger than the Lebanese army because of Iranian backing. In the midst of all this, incendiary balloons were released by friends of Hezbollah from the Gaza area to South Israel, causing fires in agricultural areas and damage to fields. Now the Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett has said that Israel will respond to these in the same way as we will respond to rocket attacks. See all these proxies controlled by their master Iran. Iran is pushing its agenda to bring trouble upon Israel from all sides. As I told in the north the attack from Hezbollah, in the south Gaza area being controlled by Hamas trying to attack Israel and also the Palestinian Jihad in that area and also that Iran sponsored Iraqi Shia militia. All these groups trying to attack Israel and you know, utilizing every moment to target Israel. Dear people of God, things are getting hotter day by day. The question is, will there be a northern war between Israel and Hezbollah? Let's pray that there won't be any war. But I want to assure you that these are all hints of the Ezekiel 38 war that is imminent. And the hope that we have is that before that war happens, the rapture event will happen wherein Jesus will come in the mid heavens and take his true church with him. Who are part of his true church? Those who have placed their hope and trust in Jesus alone as their Lord and Savior. Those who have accepted Jesus' Lordship over their lives and who are walking in his ways. That is his true church. Are you part among that? Are you part of that remnant? If so, continue to prayerfully and, and expectantly watch for the coming of Jesus. If you have not taken that commitment, would you, you know, take that commitment to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and commit your life to live under the Lordship of Jesus? Would you do that today? If so, may the Lord help all of us to be watchful and expectantly wait for the coming of Jesus in the mid heavens. Amen. God bless you. And by the way, if you are blessed by this message, be sure to hit that like button. And also, if you are not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe by pressing that subscribe button and also pressing that bell notification so that you would continue to receive blessed messages and updates like this in, on this same channel.